Well, we can go live to the States now, where Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump have agreed to join us, taking time out from the hectic campaign trial. Good morning to both of you. Uh, Hillary, let's start off with you first of all. Good morning, Donald. Um, why should people be going out and voting for you tomorrow? Hi, Holly. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me on. What an honor it is for you. Um, and you two sound remarkably sober, which is fantastic. <laughs> You know, all of the living presidents have endorsed me, as well as all of the major uh, news publications uh, in the not West. True. But for that, those, that, true. Uh, for those people who uh, you know haven't seen the news for the past year and a half, I will uh, give you, give you. Uh, I'll break it down. Uh, there is an orange baby man running for office. Uh, he has such great family values uh, that he's had three of them. Uh, the only thing he's had more of than families is bankruptcy. Uh, he claims he can fix absolutely everything, and yet he can't fix I am. a I'm rigged tremendous. election. I'm tremendous. <clears throat> Dude, you're a billionaire. You know, if Bill and I had a couple hundred mil, you know, lying around, we could have put this thing to bed months ago. Uh, mm -hmm. But he's no good with numbers. You know, uh, he. Uh, you know, can't can't win at a casino. You know, casinos are where drunk people go and give their money away. You know, it's like, here, take it. Yeah, honey, give me another 20, you know. Very funny. <clears throat> His answer to the economy is to give tax uh, breaks to the rich because we all know that when rich people have more money, well, rich people have more money. Let's talk, let's <clears throat> talk to Donald. That let's, of, that's good. That's actually true. The only thing he knows you. about character is that uh, on Twitter you can use a maximum of 140. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's, let's talk to, uh, to, to Donald now. How do, how do you respond to that, Mr. Trump? Why should America vote nasty, for you? Nasty, nasty woman. Nasty woman, I have to tell you. Listen, I'm doing tremendous. I'm beating the pantsuit off of her. By the way, that's all she wears are pantsuits. They look horrible, I have to tell you. I'm doing a fantastic job. I'm the smartest person I know. I'm going to I'm gonna crush ISIS. I, I know I know more about ISIS than all the generals. I'm going to make America great again. I'm going to build the wall. I'm going to improve the, com uh, the economy. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And everyone's going to be very happy. And over here in America, we are going to be winning. We're going to be winning so much, we're going to get tired of winning. But we're going to keep on winning. And you know what? England's going to win, too, because we're winning. Because we love England. We love Brexit. We love Holly. We love Philip. We love this show. You're tremendous people Listen. just like me. Well, you scared me. You, you, you if I could just interject here. Okay. Uh, the, you know, this whole make America great again, Donald. Mm -hmm. You know when America yes. was great? Was when Bill Clinton was running the joint. Uh, Bill Clinton who was uh, with Monica, with Monica Lewinsky when, when Bill was with Monica. Is that what you're saying? I have every intention of getting back to the White House. Um, you know, we didn't even take the deposit when we left the last time. So, can I just listen? Um, the White House isn't going to be there when I become president. I am going to bulldoze that place. That place is not going to be there anymore. It's a it's a terrible place. It's only two stories. I haven't lived in a two story house since I was five years old. It's got a lot of paintings of dead people, dead presidents. There's some guy Hoover's on the wall. He invented the vacuum cleaner. I don't know why he's yeah. up there. So that's going to go. We're going to put. You know what? And he's going to build a wall around the White House story Trump too. Tower Hotel Casino. Let me jump in. Let me jump in and talk to to, to Rose. And John now, uh, just briefly. Rosemary, um, you uh, obviously this has been an incredibly busy time for both of you. Um, what, is, what is, in essence, what is she to you as a character? Oh wow. Okay. Um, it's uh, it, it's interesting because this go round, I'm having um, it's a little bit more of a challenge. When I, I started doing her in 07, 08, and she was the underdog, and so I could add all this pathos to her. And and John, you must be looking forward to having a break, whichever way this goes. You must be looking forward to having some time off, aren't you? <laughs> I haven't slept in days. I literally did a show earlier tonight, and then I'm, once I'm done here, I'm going to the airport to fly to Montreal to do a show there. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to a break. Working. I've never worked this much. So it's been it's He's been the hardest pretty working man. Well, both of you, I have a feeling that, uh, that regardless of what happens in the next it's been a joy. hours, you're so still going to be very, very busy. Good luck Thank tomorrow. you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> bye yeah, bye. best of luck tomorrow. Thank you so Thank you. much. It's going to be absolutely tremendous. It's going to be a Trump slide. It's going to be amazing. <laughs>
For more of this morning's funniest moments, click here and subscribe so that you never miss out.